Hi there, my name's Bruce Rain from Brankus Creations, and this is a quick follow-up of the unfolding Amtec Flux debacle, as well as an exciting announcement. Here's a quick recap of events. Some people who recently purchased Amtec NC559V2 TF Tacky Flux from Amazon myself included, noticed that what they received wasn't what they were used to. The flux was darker, smelled different, and didn't glow under UV light. It turned out that up until recently, a company called Inventec USA had been supplying a product labelled as NC559V2TF to various distributors, but it was not the original formula. Apparently, in 2018, Inventec USA dropped the V2 formula due to production challenges, and the Amazon distributor simply supplied whatever Inventec USA labelled as V2, at times facing roaring backlash. The community had got used to the terpene smell in V2, but suddenly started getting an odourless substitute of a lighter colour that also glowed under UV. A different flux labelled as V2. That different flux turned out to be the NC559ASMTF. In the end, everyone got used to the change, and it was still a great flux, just with different properties. So for the past four years, we've been using ASM flux formula with a V2 label on it. In 2021, the Amazon distributor parted ways with Inventec USA, turning to an alternative source of the Amtec flux, Amtec Manufacturing LLC. The distributor found that Inventec USA was not the manufacturer of many of the products they sold under the brand Amtec, and was simply using some old formulas they acquired in 2014. Apparently there are still too many Amtecs on the market, including Chinese Amtec, and very few people know who is who. According to the United States Patent and Trademark Office, neither Inventec nor Amtec Manufacturing got registrations for the trade name Amtec in the United States. In the absence of the rightful brand owner, the Amazon distributor went with the Amtec product which looked and performed like the one from before 2018. So in 2021, a new company, Amtec Distribution LLC, took over Amazon order fulfillment and with this change, customers ordering NC559V2TF started receiving the original article as it should have been all this time. So what's the difference between these two fluxes? The NC559ASMTF, or ASM, is designed for industrial use with both leaded and lead-free solders. It's lighter in colour, more viscous, and requires more rigorous cleaning to remove. It also glows in UV. The NC559V2TF, or V2, is designed more for hand soldering hobbyists using leaded solder, is darker in colour, slightly less viscous, and cleans more easily than ASM. It has a terpene-based scent and does not glow in UV. The unfolding situation has mainly affected customers buying Amtec Flux from Amazon or Amtec Direct, and has resulted in some interesting reactions. Some people receiving the genuine V2 formula have declared the Flux fake and counterfeit, when the truth of the matter is that those people likely started after 2018 and are actually using the real V2 formula for the first time. I tested the genuine V2 flux and found it to be a quality product, though I definitely preferred the ASM I've been using, even though I thought I'd been using V2. Flux is a mix of lots of different chemicals, and one of the chemicals used in the V2 formula was hydrobromic acid, which can be difficult to source and also poses dangers in manufacturing. So Amtec altered the formula and found a replacement for the hydrobromic acid, as well as giving the flux a far more pleasant pine scent. This updated V2 formula is a demonstration of the innovation capabilities at Amtec. I've had a chance to test the fine-tuned product, and it's a great improvement over the original, which was known to develop tiny bubbles or white lumps. And while I'm not encouraging anyone to sit around sniffing their flux, even with a fume extractor, you'll get wafts of smell, and it may as well be a pleasant smell. If you're watching this video, you're probably involved somehow. Maybe you're wondering if you have the genuine V2 or the ASM formula with a V2 label on it. The first thing to do is check the label. If it's purchased recently, you will see the security seal on the label under UV light if it's genuine Amtec. And you'll also see the amtecdirect.com URL. If your Flux has a V2 label and says Inventec USA, 
chances are the contents are actually the ASM formula, which is far from V2. Another way to check is to see if your flux glows under UV light. If it glows, it's the ASM formula. If not, it's V2. But whether you're using a genuine V2, ASM or ASM labelled as V2, another problem exists. Neither of these products are compliant with the latest REACH requirements. REACH stands for Registration, Evaluation, Authorization and Restriction of Chemicals. REACH is a regulation of the European Union adopted to improve the protection of human health and the environment from the risks that can be posed by chemicals while enhancing the competitiveness of the EU chemicals industry. Without REACH compliance, it limits the sale of the old NC559 products in the EU. Earlier on, I mentioned an announcement. I have in my hand the solution to the REACH problem. I've been lucky enough to receive this little tube of Sample 88 from Amtec. It's my understanding that I'm the first person to try this outside the Amtec walls. This tube is not only the solution to the REACH compliance issues, but also an indication that genuine Amtec people are not just manufacturers of legacy fluxes. They are actually capable of coming up with improved or entirely new SMT formulations, which are very difficult, if not impossible, for any outsider to make. The people at Amtec have come up with this new formula, a REACH compliant upgrade to the over 15 year old ASM V2 and will be known as NC559V3TF. Here are the four fluxes side by side. First is the original formula V2, the new formula V2, ASM and the new V3. If we apply some UV light you can see that the V2s don't glow but the ASM and V3 do. As you can see, the original V2 is darker than the other three, and when we apply heat, the smell is quite a pungent chemical smell. That's the terpene smell I mentioned earlier. It's nowhere near as bad as some other fluxes I've tried, but still quite strong. The new formula V2 is lighter than the original V2, but more opaque than the others. When we apply heat, it has a far more pleasant smell, described as pine. I'm not sure if it's really a pine smell, but it's not overpowering and it's quite pleasant and sweet. The ASM is clearer than the V2s and a little thicker and has these little bubbles inside. When we apply heat, it also has a pleasant and sweet smell, but otherwise it's odorless. The V3 looks very similar to the ASM with viscosity somewhere in between the ASM and V2. It has the nicest smell out of all of them and doesn't smell like chemicals at all. The new Flux is the only NC559 formula which meets REACH compliance, so it's much better for the environment and less toxic for human health, especially if you need to apply a quick fix and don't use a fume extractor. This is not meant to be a Flux review video, though I will be doing that very soon. However, I have had a chance to put this new V3 Flux through its paces, and I'm impressed. My priorities may differ from yours, but these are the things that make a good Flux for me. Viscosity. The flux needs to be thick enough that it doesn't just flow away, but not so thick that it's hard to clean. Clarity. When I apply flux to pins of an IC, I like to be able to see the pins under the flux, so I don't like the flux too opaque. Odour. Not too stinky. Longevity. The flux keeps working even after prolonged exposure to a soldering iron or hot air rework. Residue. The flux doesn't turn into some gluggy black mess after repeated exposure to heat. Cleaning. The flux is easy to clean even after being left on the board for several hours. UV tracer. Being able to see the flux under UV light for checking that all residue has been removed after ultrasonic cleaning. Safety. I spend a lot of time using flux so I'll always be happier if the chemicals are less harmful. For me, this new V3 fits the bill on all counts. As soon as the V3 is available for purchase, I'll add links to the video description. If you're a V2 or ASM user, I would highly recommend giving it a try for yourself. I hope you're as impressed as I am. And being REACH compliant is a huge selling point. I must give a huge thank you to the people at Amtec who have been so forthcoming with information on this matter and applaud them for making this fantastic new flux formulation. Thanks for watching, please consider pressing the like button and subscribing and look out for my in-depth flux review video coming soon.